Okay, so I'm going to show you how you can uh, create your own OneNote classroom notebook. So we are in our Microsoft portal and we're going to go over to the left to the apps section where we'll click over here and we're going to select the class notebook. Again, there are two versions. One is for straight note taking, more for your professional use and then for use if you have a class. So I'll click on class to set this up and it's quite easy to do this. So we're simply going to go to create a class notebook. And we're going to give it a name. And we'll click next. This gives you an overview of the, the spaces. We have a collaboration space, a content library and a student notebook space, which I'll explain in more detail. And if we were working with a shared uh, setting, for instance, if we had a teaching partner, we can add that person in. For now, I'm going to skip. And we can add the email addresses of our students in directly here to give them access into our notebook. If you're using an LMS like D2L, this is an automated process and it automatically updates for you. I'm going to click next and avoid that for now. I'm going to create my spaces. So for now, I'm going to have a handout space a class note space, maybe I'll keep the homework. I'm gonna add more. You can create as many as you want. These could be subject areas, it could be units, it can be whatever you want. So I'm gonna call this learning journals and maybe I'll add another one called portfolio and I'll hit next. And that will create those specific tabs in all of my student accounts. So I hit create, it'll create my notebook it should be just just a moment to set up once it sets up we will have the choice of opening uh, onenote online or onenote i'm going to use the cloud-based version onenote online and it opens up it's creating my notebook and what you'll see is a couple of sections have created on the left, a collaboration space, a content library. And if I had invited students, I would have them all listing here, but I hadn't done that, so we won't see them. We'll test that out during the presentation so you can see that in action. That is the setup process in its simplest form.